OK, so you've installed the standard PHP stack using Zen Server. Now's a great time to take advantage of the opportunity to go in and look at the Zen Server user interface and see the features that Zen Server brings to your PHP development process. So to do that, I'm just going to hop into a browser. I'm going to check localhost just to make sure that my server was installed correctly. So I installed this on a default um, Ubuntu 13 uh, clean Linux install. So you can see that Apache is working just fine. I'm going to go into 10081 as a port. Uh, you can also use 10082 if you're using SSL, but this is just my development box. So you can see the first run experience for Zen Studio, uh, for Zen Server. Zen Server is going to ask me to set up passwords for the admin and the developer uh, user accounts. And this is cool because it means that um, in a production environment, I can have different accounts with different privileges. So for example, I can have a, the developer be a read-only account in production, so the developer can go in and debug in real time without um, me having to worry about them making changes if I'm the ops guy. So I'll just add a uh, password for both the uh, administrative user and the developer user. Now we're deploying libraries. You see Zen Framework 2, Zen Gateway, Zen Framework 1. Go ahead and click Next. This will just give us a review. Notice down here it says that the current license edition is the Enterprise Trial. Now, um, this is something that lots of folks miss, mix. There's only one download for Zen Server, whether you're going to use the free edition or one of the commercial editions. It's the same bits, and uh, the features that are additional in the commercial versions uh, are simply turned on by virtue of the fact that you install a commercial license as opposed to the free Zen Server license. So just one download, one set of bits. So go ahead and uh, click Submit, and this is going to uh, finish the configuration and launch Zen Server. And once it's done that, um, we're just very quickly going to run through the menus so you can uh, get a quick look at the kinds of features that you can explore in your own installation of Zen Server. Now, one of the cool things here is you notice here on the welcome screen, there's an option to install a demo. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and it'll take a couple of seconds. This is basically a demo application, and if you're new to Zen Server, it's useful to install it because it'll give you some data that you can look at to see the kinds of results that you'll be able to get from your own, uh, from your own applications in the Zen Server user interface. So notice this is just giving me a hint here that, some, that a restart is required. Right, so I'm going to Go ahead and say, yeah, that's okay. Go ahead and restart. Just restarting the server so it can uh, detect the application that um, is in the process of being installed. Just takes a couple of minutes while it's finishing up. If we have a look, there we go. So we're on the overview. You can see here events breakdown, requests per second, average response times, and a whole bunch of events. And this is just the overview page, but we can drill down into each of these. Um, so we can look at uh, system health and tell us about uh, warnings notices, etc. Active PHP sessions, CPU usage, aver average memory usage, some usage statistics. So you see here, what are the operating systems? What are the browsers that are being used? And over here, we have uh, what geographies from around the world are my users coming inbound from? So all things that can be really useful uh, information. Uh, mobile versus desktop. So we get mobile usage, how much, of our, uh, uh, how much usage from our application is coming from mobile devices as opposed to conventional desktop browsers. And then mobile statistics. Right, so this will um, uh, give us some detail about uh, the mobile use. Right. Uh, so I can. that's just an overview. So if I go to applications, I can look at the app. We only just have this one deployed, this uh, Zen demo app. If you look at the libraries tab, you can see the, the libraries that were installed during installation, Zen Framework, Zen Framework 2, and Zen Server Gateway. You, of course, can install Symfony or whatever frameworks that you use. But the interesting thing about separating apps from libraries is that libraries are shared. So if I have six different applications that use Zen Framework 2, I don't have to bundle Zen Framework 2 with each one of those, uh, which each one of those applications. Uh, each one of those six applications can use the shared version of Zen Framework 2. So if I, for example, have to do a patch for uh, a security or performance update, uh, I patch that library in the library and it propagates to its use throughout the rest of the applications that use that shared library. There's some monitoring rules. Now, um, uh, these get installed by default, so there are global rules. 
Right? So things like you know firing custom events, database errors, etc. And then there are application specific ones and you can configure both. You can configure global rules in addition to the ones that are installed by default. And you can also configure uh, application specific monitoring rules. Also caching rules. So this is just a, uh, a simple time-based caching rule. Cache if the URL matches a regex expression for this particular U, uh, URL. Um, just uh, by way of an example. And job rules if you're using a job queue. Um, job queue is a function that's uh, included in the commercial versions of Zen Server. So you can do timed, uh, timed batch jobs for uh, your server environment. So here are configurations. Here are the components that are installed for Zen Server. Uh, we can look at the PHP configuration. Right, so this is a user interface that will allow us to say, hey, I want to turn this on, uh, or look what's loaded, what's not loaded. Uh, if you're a Zen Studio user, this uh, lets you configure Zen Studio integration. Some basic code tracing settings let us enable code tracing or disable code tracing, specify the cleanup period, um, trigger some actions. And then session clustering. So um, uh, clustering is supported if you're using one of the commercial versions of Zen Server. Uh, in the, uh, the free edition, it's just assuming a single server. And then um, under administration, uh, the number of, uh, we can enumerate the servers now because um, uh, if you're using the free version, you just get a single server. But if you're using one of the commercial versions, you can have multiple servers, and those multiple servers can be combined to um, uh, comprise your cluster. Um, we can specify the audit trail. Right, so it just gives us some uh, uh, some audit information about who's done what, and our uh, user administration here. So if we want to change passwords, add users, etc., uh, the keys for the web API. If I'm uh, programming against the web API, here's the license, and you'll notice that this is just a default install. So by default, I get uh, seven days, uh, and then. Um, after that seven days, I can choose to either extend the enterprise trial for another 21 days, or I can simply get a serial number for the free edition, and I can enter that. General settings, so things like, you know, uh, how many results per page, default server, etc. Notification center changes, audit trail, mail settings, if you want to set up mail notifications. Um, so, uh, restarting strategy. And lastly, import-export, so you can... Uh, get your server all configured and then you can export that configuration profile so that you can migrate it to another box, you can share it with your uh, other developers on your team, or you can, uh, as you go from development to uh, test QA to staging to production, you can use those configuration, uh, that configuration import export as well. So that's a really quick, like two minute tour of some of the stuff that Zen Server adds to the PHP stack that installs with Zen Server. Now that you've installed Zen Server, hopefully you'll have a look at some of these features and give them a try and find out what utility is most useful to you in Zen Server.